Oh. The prototype spike thrower. Alright, let's go back real quick. Let's see what our pouches are. Hunter arrow quiver. Currently that was 24. Could upgrade that. Our tripwire pouch. Four to six. Potion pouch and bomb satchel. Satchel is another great word, you guys. It's Monday, all right. Be right back. Tittle. A tiny amount or part of something. So to titillate, to titillate is to be part of something. Got it. Figured it out. All right. Let's upgrade our tripwire pouch. Our potion pouch. Our bomb satchel. 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 And let's upgrade some whippions. Let's upgrade our shh. Oh, that's fully upgraded. Frost blast bling. Oh, I need. I can't. This I can't. Upgrade. Oh, we can do three. All right, and it gives us a coil slot. Upgraded three weapons. Nice. We can upgrade this. I like how the components needed for these upgrades make sense too, right? Like this thing requires metal shards, braided wire, and a scrounger circulator. Of course that makes sense. Of course. Is there any reason not to upgrade these when you can? So does that complete my my quest that I had, my job or whatever? Go to workbench. Gather the resources needed to upgrade this item. Wait, upgrade what item? Go to a workbench. I'm at a workbench. Okay, I don't know what that is. Your emojis are simply awesome. <laughs> Pretty good. Vicky, did you commission new ones? I don't know why I said it like that. New ones? Dongle is a good word. Got somewhere to be. Sorry. Dongle. Yeah, I like dongle. Dongle's great. Um, let's. Let's upgrade ourselves because we have four upgrades here. What's this? Stamina region. Recover weapon stamina faster. Yeah. Ammo expert. Craft more ammunition from the same amount of resources. Yes. Oh shit, that cost a bunch. Oh! Whoops. That's okay. That cost a bunch. Okay. That, co that cost more than I was willing to spend, but we did it anyway. Low health regen. Low health defense. Low profile. Reduce your visibility. Yeah. Let's get that. All right. And now we got Stealth Surge. Stealth Stalker. All right. 
now we activate our new main quest. Wait, melee pit? Oh, I'm not going to do that right now. Or maybe I should go check out the melee pit. Yeah. All right. We'll do that. Go check out the melee pit. Wait, we're not in chain scrape. Never mind. We're not going to do that. this Reina Who's Reina You want to talk uh is Aloy I found more of their lenses Oh the lens lady oh, wonderful Here at this rate you'll get me all the lenses before this ankle's ready to spring What <laughs> so She just gives me metal shards did you find any lenses? I'm working on it. Fair enough. Right. Good. <clears throat> it's beyond adorable. I could have beaten them bristlebacks too. Vicky? Vicky. 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 Is that a Is that a uwu duck, Vicky? Vicky? Also, yes. Wait a minute. Ducks don't have hands, Vicky. What? <laughs> what is happening? Why is it called dongle? Yeah. Also, wait a minute. Why is it called dongle? Where is Erend? Looks like he's had a few. Why not? Good point. You got a Are you in charge around here? Ah, uh, apologies. Lawan. His name is Lawan. I'm Lawan. The second. Hi, Lawan. So, what brings Aloy of the Nora to Baron Light? I'm here for the embassy. I need it to happen so I can head west. And maybe now that Studious Wadis is another Lawan. Yep. Things underway. La Juan. <laughs> yes, the Sun Priest walked in practically kicking and screaming behind his escort. Really seems to like his scrolls. You were looking to commission some overlays, and that went on hold. Why? I can't add emotes yet, and honestly, things happened here, so I can't really commission. Oh, I see. Okay. That sucks, Mepha. Let me through the gates then. I have my own business with them. I'm sure you do, but I'm afraid I can't. Commander's orders. La Juan? The gates are open for any who dare to venture out. Asaram salvagers, a few especially brazen Karja, but no one's allowed in or out before an embassy. Now we're open. Once the Tanakh have left. Ooh, that dude's teeth are weird. At the embassy. So what happens at these embassies exactly? Mostly trade and negotiation. The Karja offer tribute of food, spices, and gear. In exchange, the Tanath return personal effects taken from Karja soldiers that fell during the Red Raids. This particular embassy, however, is a special case. Because the Tanakh are handing over some sort of prisoner, right? Oh, I can't move the camera in a cutscene. I guess that makes sense. I guess that makes sense. Time of day controls are off in a cutscene. Yeah, a lot of shit's off. All right. Fine. 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 A soldier named Fashav. Uh, Muting for call. So you've heard. Exchange has got everyone on edge. You never know if an embassy is going to go well until it's practically over. Tanakh? You said something about Tanakh marshals. Who are they? They're the tribe's elite warriors. Before every embassy, they arrive with a contingent of soldiers from each of their three clans. 
Then, during the proceedings, they negotiate on behalf of their leader. And by negotiate, I mean stare down our sun priest until they concede. Paiv over here came face to face with them for the first time at the last embassy. <laughs> came back drenched in his own sweat. It was hot that day, sir. <laughs> it was indeed. <laughs> Where is this Commander Nozar, then? If he's the one keeping the gates shut, I'll convince him to open them for me. I'll take you to him, but I have to warn you. The Commander isn't one to break protocol, especially when he's already high-strung. We'll see about that. This way. There's a lot of activity going on around here. The Tanakh tore down this place during the Red Raids. Two years of labor, we still have a long way to go. The work stoppage and chain scrape nearly halted our rebuilding efforts. But I hear a certain Nora got them back to work. I was just helping out. Yes, well, I'm sure Olven was thrilled. There's a beer here called Ass? I bet it's delicious. Stand aside, soldier. Sir. There's the commander. Better brace yourself. And good luck. Braced. <clears throat> Why this? How are we to hold an embassy with a tribe that can't even govern their own people? What more can you expect from barbarians? <clears throat> oh. Aloy, was it? Yes. The one who cleared the valley for you? That You're welcome. We appreciate your service. At least we are ready for the embassy to begin. Didn't you just give the signal? Both sides must signal readiness. Until the Tanakh sound their horn, we wait. Yea, for as the first shall be kept. Shut up. Why huh. the delay? <laughs> the Tanakh are a tribe. <laughs> Aloy. Brutal. Bands. How many banners do you see? You're just going to wait? Go find out what's wrong. <sighs> oh, this isn't some forgotten corner of the East where you come from, Nora. It's the Forbidden West. If you don't like it, run back to Meridian. Follow the plan. The Meridian I saved, you mean? That's right. Nobody walks to the gate until the third clan arrives and the Tanakh horn has sounded. Not even the savior. My watch telling me I've been sitting for too long. I'll wait. Well, thanks, but I've waited long enough. It's time to go. Absolutely not. This embassy depends on diligent adherence to... You shall not! Keep telling yourself that. So when Defiance! Is he here? My spirit demands me to make a joke with that name, but I'll prevail over it and be a polite human being. Open the gates, please. Do not let her through that gate. That is the direct order. Sorry, can't do it. Sure. Not sure for how long. I don't care if it's the devil between yourself. The gate is a shield until that corn grows. I'm asking nicely. I, I don't know what to do. Hey, Bar. Hi, Aaron. Uh, what's See? Up? Okay. They should not have done this. I don't know why games do this, but the artificial light source on the characters just makes it look bad. Why? Why is there this weird light source lighting these characters right now? It doesn't make any sense. Don't do that. I know the usual Aloy wants something. People Open try standing away. It's not gonna work. Oh, that's it. 
Arrest her. I'd like to see you try. Supporting fire? Yeah, I'm locked and loaded. Hey, nose off. You stupid bastard. You think you got the authority to keep that door shut in the savior of Meridian's face? What, what do you think Sun King of Vod is gonna do when he hears what you did? Promote you, huh? Let it through, boys. Good, close enough. Aaron's and Barl's lights were too out of place. The shadows on the back stairway was also not matching. Yeah. Look, Barl. It doesn't matter. Coming from two different directions, too. Yeah. Like if the sun was in the middle of them. <laughs> yeah, right? There's like a giant sun just off screen, right in between them. It's very weird. So, this tribe that Murad told us about, the Tanakh. We need their permission to go west. Yeah, well, I figured it'd be nice if they weren't trying to kill me the whole time. Mephaverse is someone in my Discord stream who fully plays his character as a duck. Wait, what? But this embassy hasn't started yet. We're just gonna barge in? There's no more po I'm confused. You're saying Mephaverse plays plays his character as a duck? Politics. What? No more delays. Oh well. Now at least someone else. Oh, okay. Someone called Dongle. Oh, okay. We'll see how it goes. It's a great name. I gotta get that. Ah! <laughs> All right. Splash. New new color. My uh my daughter would approve of your name color oh. choice, Slay. It's one of her favorite colors. between east and west cross it and die hold on now let's take it easy none may walk this valley until our signal sounds that was our accord with the Karja I'm not Karja how'd the rest of your stream go Slay to ask for right of passage but they opened the gate for you did they not what is the meaning of this violation why send a child do they want to parlay or not a child the Karja can't be trusted. This is no. Forget the Karja. This has nothing to do with them. I need to go west to save lives. Maybe even yours. The only lives you can save are your own. By turning back. Now. Hold. She's telling the truth about one thing. She's not Karja. She's a Nora from the Savage East. And if she seeks to save lives, should we not listen? Let me speak to her. One last favor for a fellow marshal before he's taken away. The dude's face paint is on point. I like that color. Yeah, it's pretty good. Got some new strats down. What a racist. Yeah. A fearless red-headed Nora. You must be the so -called I didn't savior. see that. I'll have to catch the VOD slay. Just Please tell me you save I your VODs. Yielding Fashav, once of the Karja High Command, last of the Army of the Setting Sun. You're Fashav. The VOD gave me a message for you. That he waits for you in Meridian, where you belong. Hmm. <laughs> Are you all done with this one? The VOD always was polite. Did you finish it up? Well, now I'm even more curious about you knowing that you have the confidence Not of yet. some king. But... Such an Too much Elden Ring. The Karja could work against you here, as it often has with me. As you can see, tensions are high. 
This embassy is a delicate affair. They're about to return me to the Sundom, a gesture that might nice. help soothe painful grievances. And now you arrive. Yeah, I basically just started, I think. Like, I'm right I'm at the beginning. I'm not here to cause trouble. I just need to go west. So you say. I might be able to help, but I need to know why. Along with some assurance that I won't. I've never seen markings like those on a Karja before. The Karja see ink is decoration. For the Tanakh, it is much more. A litany of deeds. All the ones you like are too dark for Twitch. Looks like you vanquished quite a few. I've fought my share of battles. But I feel that my life, like my markings, is only half complete. This side shows my martial deeds. Before I die. I'd like to see the other half marked with the morals of peace. <clears throat> How did you come to be among the Tanakh? It's quite a story, but not a quick one. No. Though I suppose neither of us is going anywhere before the embassy begins. Are you sure you want to hear it? Tell me. I guess we have time. <coughs> well. <coughs> I marched with Sun King Jaron's raiders when they came west, hoping to moderate their worst impulses. Story time, everybody. Gather around. Of course. They committed unspeakable atrocities, stirring the Tanakh into action. When the clans overran our forward encampment at Cinnabar Sands, I stayed behind to help the last stragglers evacuate and was taken prisoner. I didn't make it easy for my captors, mind you. And they paid me back in kind on the journey to their capital. I lost so much blood on the way that I was white as a corpse when they threw me before Chief Akaro. I thought I was dead for sure, so I resorted to desperate measures. So when you met the Tanakh chief, you did something desperate? I kept my ears open as the Tanakh dragged me along. And I heard mutterings about a kind of trial by combat that they revere. So, when they flung me at Hakaro's feet, I demanded this right, called the Kurut. Thinking that by winning, I could request a boon. My life, or even my freedom. The other Tanakh howled, but Hakaro stared them down. And then his gaze fell upon me. Evidently, he appreciated my ingenuity. He allowed me to participate in the cool route. Little did I know what I was in for. You said the cool route is a Tanakh's trial by combat. Yes. But it is no ordinary trial. It doesn't pit men against... The Tanakh them. remind me of the Klingon for some reason. Instead, the combatants fight machines in a great arena and only the strongest survive. Believe me. It is no easy thing to stare down a charging machine while hundreds around you scream for blood. I know more about that than you might think. Do you? Well, then you have my respect. Like you, I lived through it to claim my prize. I had hoped for freedom, but... Well, that wasn't on offer. Only service to the chief. You wound up serving the Tanakh chief. The winners of the cool route must serve the chief as his marshals. You mentioned that word before. What does it mean? Now, the word itself refers to a kind of protective spirit from the ancient past. In practice, marshals are Hikaro's roving lawgivers, part magistrate, part judge, part executioner. <coughs> I won my place among their ranks and served as honor demanded, but many Tanakh still spat on the ground when I walked by. And they did until I started forcing them to the ground to grind their faces in it. I guess that's one way to deal with it. As you may have noticed, violence is the native tongue of the Tanakh. To survive, one must master it. The truth is, though, the Karja speak it too. He's very soft-spoken for, like, the shit that he's talking about. I can't blame the Tanakh for hating them. So then, are you still Karja? Part of me, yes, always. 
That's up to you, Mepha. There's much to admire about the Tanakh. You do what you want to do. Especially their chief. I've heard stories about what it was like before his reign. Three clans always at war, constantly slitting each other's throats. Hikaru and the marshals have crafted a delicate peace. And now he looks to the future. Who knows? Maybe that future will include cooperation with the Karja. This shirt is ruined. The Karja <clears throat> talk about Hikaru as if he's a monster. The Karja feel compelled to demonize him if only because he swept them from the field. It is true that he is fearsome. When I was first taken before him, I thought he would flame me. Politics running his blood. Yeah, that's true. No that's a good point. Tyrant like the Mad Sun King was. I think that if you were fortunate enough to meet him, as I was, you would find that he only wants the best for his people. I hope you do speak to him. I'm sure you'd interest him. Hydrate. Thank so, you, Olive. That's my story. Yeah. The way you talk about the Tanakh, there's a lot different than how they do. Are you glad to be going back to Meridian? <coughs> oh, I'll admit that I wouldn't mind sleeping in a feather bed or kind of pink, I guess. In the southern vineyards. Sorry, half lurking, getting ready for a food show that is in a few hours. Nice, dude. As someone who knows the Tanakh then the Karja. What kind of food show? Position to advocate for both. You gotta elaborate on that shit, Slay. What are you talking about? Is your mic out of sync or is it just me? Lasting peace. It could be. The Tanakhs don't seem that peaceful. They're not, as a rule. But these Testing. Is my mic out of sync to the words that are coming out of my mouth? Does this match what I am speaking from my mouth? Place your items for all the hospitals in PA. Wow. Nice. Love me some pastries. Um, ha, huh, just change the color. Oh, nice. That purple looks beautiful. These are difficult times. Chief Akaro knows that survival often requires change. Even if that change means putting aside centuries of war. It's way off. You're just going to leave it? Might need a refresh, a, a, a reload of the page. Right of passage. I'll tell you. But you won't like my answer. Six months ago, the what if I did this, Olive? Does that make it weird? The world almost ended in Meridian. That threat still exists. It's getting worse every day. Much worse. <clears throat> Storms, poisoning the water, enraging the machines. The source of it all has gone west. And I'm the only one who can stop it. I've seen the signs. And I've heard tales of incredible occurrences in Meridian. An army of demons vanquished by a red-haired champion. So I'm inclined to believe you. The burden of your task is written across your face clearer than any mark of mine. I won't refresh. I refuse. I'll grant you this to serve as proof of your right to travel into Tanakh lands. A task so important. And it's just a two recording hours. clip it. Take it from one who aspires to be a diplomat. <clears throat> Allies are essential. Chief Akaro knows the West better than Something in my throat. He may be able to help you. He can be intimidating to others, but don't let that down. <clears throat> he is a man of his word. Maybe. If I need him. Your choice. You can find him at his palace, past the mountains to the southwest. Tell him I sent you, and he'll listen to Look! 
The Sky Clan's banner. Marshals. Oh boy. It wasn't easy, but I brought the Sky Clan with me. And the commander. Uh Aloy's across the line. I could only Did you see that? Few. She's over the line. He isn't yet. She's got the knife, I guess. We'll, 